BCMA is a target of great interest. Uh, you're going to see a lot of data being presented over the course of this conference. We've already seen some very exciting data with bi-specific T-cell engagers. One was presented yesterday and what those essentially entail are these uh, monoclonal antibodies which target the antigen of interest along with another arm which activates your T cells and these two are linked together. So what I presented yesterday was data on a first in human by specific T cell engager and this is from Pfizer and for the purposes of ease I'm just going to call it PF3135. Uh, this was a first in human study and it was a pretty classic design of a study where we did a dose escalation in the classic Fibonacci way where you do three patients at every dose level, watch for toxicities and go up. We're still in the process of escalating so this is early data but just um, to kind of tell people what this new uh, bispecific T-cell engager is. It's a completely humanized monoclonal antibody with one arm against BCMA, B-cell maturation antigen, and the other arm activating CD3. It's joined to an IgG 2A backbone through a linker technology. And what we found is we were able to give this drug, uh, we've treated about 23 patients now in a dose escalation fashion. And what we were able to see was we were able to give them weekly dosing in an intravenous uh, formulation. The dose takes about half hour to give. Uh, the toxicity was very manageable. We saw low grades of CRS, which is sort of expected with these bispecific T-cell engagers because you're activating the immune system and you're hoping to see a little bit of this. We're still very early, but we are beginning to start seeing some responses to the extent where we've seen one patient with a complete response. We've seen one patient with a minimal response and there have been six or seven patients who've had stable disease and have been able to continue on therapy. When you look Look at the pharmacodynamics of this and the pharmacokinetics. What we can tell is this drug lasts in your body for about four to eight days and therefore can be given weekly and over time we may even be able to give it less frequently. Um, and I think the important thing which we've uh, appreciated is it's extremely well tolerated so far so that the oldest patient we had on this uh, bispecific T-cell engager approach was a 81 year old. So again early data, um, very early sort of efficacy data which I don't want to read too much into and to the point where we are continuing to escalate because we haven't reached a maximum tolerated dose and we are looking at ways and means of giving the drug differently so that can we think about using a subcutaneous formulation also to make it more convenient. So certainly a very exciting uh, new uh, compound in this pretty crowded space of BCMA. So this is something which we are excited about and we're going to continue to study for our patients because the beauty of this is it's an off-the-shelf approach and it can be accessible by a really uh, wide variety of patients.